Hi, it's Katrina. Some of the world's creatures we see today have been around for hundreds of millions of years, although some are now on the brink of extinction. From beautiful manta rays to the curious echidna, here are nine fascinating prehistoric animals that you can see alive today, so enjoy them while you can. Number 9. The Pygmy Right Whale we don't know very much about this whale because only a few dozen stranded specimens have been examined by scientists. The right pygmy whale only reaches 21 feet long, only. Hence the name pygmy since it seems like a miniature whale and it lives in the temperate waters of the southern hemisphere. The elusive pygmy right whale is quite possibly the last living member of a lineage experts thought was extinct until a 2012 study proved otherwise. Before the study, some scientists theorized that the pygmy right whale diverged from modern baleen species, including the blue whale and humpback whale between 17 and 25 million years ago. Others believed it evolved from the family of the bowhead whale. Either way, it has been around for a long time. Either theory would perhaps explain the right pygmy whale's odd appearance, which is unlike any other living whale species, mainly because of its arching, frowned snout. Its behavior is also unique as it swims differently than other whales and doesn't breach. Paleontologist Felix Mark and his colleagues closely examined the pygmy right whale's skull and other fossilized fragments. In doing so, they concluded that it's most likely related to an ancient family of whales called Cetotheres, which came into existence around 15 million years ago. Prior to the study, scientists believe Cetotheres went extinct around 2 million years ago. Some experts dispute these findings, instead saying that it is in the same class as other right whales like the northern, southern, and bowheads. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. The Echidna Perhaps one of the most unusual mammals ever, the echidna is related to the platypus. It has spines like a porcupine, a beak like a bird, a pouch like a kangaroo, and lays eggs like a reptile. The platypus also looks like a strange combo of animals too. These two creatures branched off from a common aquatic ancestor between 48 and 19 million years ago. Echidnas and platypi, or platypuses, are both monotremes, a type of mammal that lays eggs. Monotremes diverged from other living creatures sometime between 248 and 206 million years ago and have changed very little since then. Fun fact, both the male platypus and the male echidna have a spur on their hind legs, although they use them for different reasons. Short-beaked echidnas only live in Australia, including Tasmania, and until 2013, scientists believed that the critically endangered long-beaked echidna only existed in neighboring New Guinea. Now they aren't so sure. For a long time, researchers thought the long-beaked echidna died out in Australia between 30,000 and 40,000 years ago, when New Guinea was part of the continent. But they discovered evidence of one being sighted in Australia in 1901, and collected more recent reports from Aboriginal communities whose members remembered watching their parents hunt the animal. These reclusive creatures are rarely seen, and experts know little about them but believe they may be on the brink of extinction. Number 7. Giant Freshwater Stingray The giant freshwater stingray likely evolved around 100 million years ago during the Jurassic period. It lives in rivers throughout Southeast Asia as well as New Guinea and Northern Australia. It has done pretty well for itself. I mean, not many creatures have been around for 100 million years. At up to 16 and a half feet long and weighing as much as 1,320 pounds, it may be the largest freshwater fish species in existence. It's also the only known stingray species to live in fresh water. Scientists don't know much about the giant freshwater stingray, which was first formally described in 1989. It's elusive and hard to spot, despite often being the size of a small car. Experts are struggling to determine how many are left and believe numbers are dropping due to habitat loss, earning the species an unfortunate IUCN red list classification as vulnerable. And now for number 6, but first wanted to give a quick shout out to Anon and Gothic Dragon Warrior Queen for being awesome subscribers. Plus that's an awesome name, isn't it? If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 6. The Sturgeon the term sturgeon encompasses 29 related fish species whose evolution dates back between 245 and 208 million years ago to the Triassic period. They are said to be the oldest bony fish alive and remain mostly unchanged since the earliest fossil records. Many of these ancient fish species grow between 7 and 10 feet long and some are known to reach 26 feet in length. 
Surely you've heard of the luxury food caviar, which is made of roe, or sturgeon eggs. Several sturgeon species are harvested for this purpose, as well as for their flesh and swim bladder. Overfishing combined with other conservation threats, including pollution, dam construction, and habitat loss has led to most sturgeons being critically endangered. Some species are already extinct and others are collectively waiting at death's doorstep but can still possibly be saved with enough protective action. Number 5. The Tuatara The Tuatara has been around for 220 million years. It's the last surviving member of the Sphenodontia order of reptiles that flourished during the dinosaur age and has changed very little during its long time on Earth. This rare creature only exists in the wild in New Zealand, and its closest living relatives went extinct around 60 million years ago. The Tuatara is New Zealand's largest reptile, but generally speaking, it's medium-sized. It grows slowly, reaching its full size at 35 years old, and has an average lifespan of 60 years, but it can live up to 100. A fully grown male weighs as much as 3.3 pounds and measures up to 1.6 feet long. Unlike most reptiles, the Tuatara prefers cooler weather. It struggles to survive in temperatures warmer than 77 degrees Fahrenheit and can live in weather as cold as 41 degrees. Scientists are especially invested in preserving this ancient species, which has dwindled largely due to the human presence in New Zealand and the invasive species that tagged along, such as rats, cats, and ferrets. Special legislation is in place to protect both the tuatara and its eggs, and biologists closely monitor the population to help ensure its survival. Number 4. The Lamprey Lampreys are among the first vertebrates or backboned animals to evolve. The oldest fossil was discovered in South Africa and dated back some 360 million years. There are 38 lamprey species altogether. These jawless, cartilaginous, primitive fish have open mouths featuring a terrifying set of teeth. They are pretty scary looking and feed by latching onto their prey, scraping its skin or scales off and then sucking its blood. Not only are lampreys one of the oldest known creatures on Earth, they're known for thriving as an invasive pest that is exceptionally difficult to get rid of. They are built to survive. Every year, the American and Canadian governments spend between 10 and 15 million dollars removing lampreys from the Great Lakes to prevent them from feeding on fish such as salmon and trout. Scientists sequenced the lamprey's genome in 2013 to learn more about the evolution of modern life, including humans, but studying these resilient creatures may also come in handy for mitigating the damage they cause. Number 3. The Coelacanth The coelacanth was considered extinct until someone discovered one very much alive in South Africa in 1938. Before then, experts believe the coelacanth had died out around 65 million years ago, along with the dinosaurs, and only knew of the fish from fossils. The earliest fossil records date back around 360 million years, and the most recent known examples are from roughly 80 million years ago. No wonder they thought it was extinct. Of the original 90 coelacanth species that once inhabited salt and freshwater bodies throughout the world, just two are left, at least that we know of. One species lives in the waters off the Comoros Islands east of Africa, and the other dwells near Sulawesi, Indonesia. Coelacanths live up to 2,300 feet below the water's surface and are inherently elusive. This partially explains why they're not seen much, despite growing up to 6.5 feet long and weighing as much as 198 pounds. Scientists believe the coelacanth may represent a transitional step in evolution between fish and four-legged land-dwelling amphibious creatures. Number 2. The Horseshoe Crab The horseshoe crab has existed for 445 million years, since before the dinosaurs, and remains practically unchanged from its original form. It's also not a crab or a lobster, but is more closely related to arachnids and scorpions. Pretty cool, huh? These guys kind of remind me of triops, you know those prehistoric eggs you could hatch from the discovery store? Did anyone else have those? There are four species of horseshoe crab, three of which are found in Southeast Asia and one that lives along North America's Atlantic and Gulf Coasts. Horseshoe crabs have 10 eyes and multiple light receptors near their tails, along with 10 legs and a hard exoskeleton. Females are one-third larger than males, reaching between 18 and 19 inches long. 
The horseshoe crab hasn't changed much over hundreds of millions of years because its body is well designed for survival and it therefore has no reason to evolve. It plays an important role in its ecosystem, mainly as a food source, and also benefits the medical industry. The animal's famously blue blood contains a chemical called Lymillus amoebocyte lysate, or LAL, which is used for testing the sterility of medical equipment and injectable drugs. It's also very expensive, at $15,000 per quart. Number 1. Nautilus Chambered nautiluses are among the oldest living creatures. In fact, they're the descendants of animals that lived in the oceans when the continents were still forming 500 million years ago. They existed around 265 million years before the dinosaurs and long before fish populated the world's waterways. There were once around 10,000 nautilus species, but only a handful remain. The nautilus is related to the octopus, squid, clam, and snail. Unlike its more modern relatives, it has primitive eyes without lenses and consequently poor eyesight. It also has a fully developed protective shell, setting it apart from other marine creatures. Today, nautiluses are found primarily in the Indo-Pacific coral reefs, in other words, Southeast Asia, Australia, and American Samoa, where they dwell between 330 and 990 feet below the water surface. They are harvested for their beautiful shells and are threatened for this reason. Because nautiluses take between 15 and 20 years to mature, their population losses are not easy to replace. Tourists are therefore encouraged not to purchase any nautilus shells that are offered to them. Meanwhile, various countries have proposed and enacted laws protecting nautiluses by banning the export of their shells. Thanks for watching! Were you surprised by any of these? Would you like to learn more about ancient creatures that still roam and swim the earth today? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe! See you next time! Bye!